Hi, Patrick here, have Tito Will View, and welcome to Dollar Theater, the Voter's Edition. That's right. The Voter's Edition is back uh, for another week, and uh, this week is, uh, was a lot of fun. I, I got to tell you, uh, I put out some horror movies, the spooky, getting close to spooky season already. So we put out uh, the horror of Dracula from 1958, uh, Amityville. Mount Misery Road from 2017, Selfie Man from 2017, The Night Shifter from 2018, that was a Shutter exclusive, and of course everybody's, well, maybe not my favorite, but I did it for a lark. <laughs> uh, I put out Hocus Pocus with Bette Midler and Kathy uh, uh, Nimiji, Nim Nimiji, yeah. Um, yes, and, and, and the other girl too. Uh, so I actually threw that out there. I said, okay, it'll be good for some laughs. I mean, either people will see this as comedy and they'll vote for Hocus Pocus or they'll recognize that we did put a, some, a pretty, some serious talent up here, a serious movie in Horror of Dracula, uh, a Hammer film from 1958. And, um, initially it looked like it was going to be, um, Hocus Pocus I'll be talking about, but thank God the voters saved my ass. <laughs> Uh, and with 55% of the vote, uh, uh, we are, we will be talking about the horror of Dracula. That's right. Um, oh, in case you're wondering, um, Hocus Pocus got 45%. The three middle films that, uh, for this week's, uh, for this week, we had 29 votes. Um, Amityville, Selfie Man, and The Night Shifter didn't get a single vote. Zero. Nada. That was entertaining, I, that, I, in a way. I actually thought Night Shifter would get a couple of votes because I've seen some reviews on, on, on the community and uh, it's gotten some good reviews. So And, I, and it, was one, it was actually a movie I do want to watch. And I'm sure we'll be seeing it on either here or the regular Dollar Theater. But for today, we're talking about 1958's uh, uh, Horror of Dracula from Hammer Films, starring a who's who of a horror talent, Peter Cushing, Christopher Lee, Michael Goh and Melissa Striving, directed by Terrence Fisher. Um, and this was Hammer's uh, films. It really was. It wasn't their first horror film. Uh, that was the year before. Um, but it was definitely the door opener. It was definitely the door opener. This is like, it was the biggest hit. Uh, it was a massive hit. And uh, they made it for $80,000 and it made almost $4 million back then. So it was a massive hit. And basically, it's all, it's not necessarily an origin story of Dracula, but we do see it. We do see, um, we do see, you know, this, for a lot of people, it's their first time seeing Dracula. And, um, and the movie starts off with Jonathan Harker um, trying to chase him down. He is on the hunt for, uh, uh, he is on the hunt for uh, Dracula. He is a self-described vampire hunter, and um, he manages to, he manages to kill one vampire but Dracula gets away uh, and uh, leaves uh, 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 and leaves Harker as Harker had been had been bit and had been turned and um, but Dracula left him to basically starve to death uh, even as he turned to a vampire he starved to death because he was trapped in a, in a room a basement uh, so we see uh, Dracula having to move out uh, and we see Val, uh, Dr. Van Helsing, played by Peter Cushing. He is on the uh, trail of his friend, and uh, he finds out that his friend has passed away. Um, and so he, now he's concerned, and uh, he goes and he helps. Uh, he goes and tells um, Jonathan Harker, Harker, Harker's family that he has passed, and that includes his sister, uh, and his sister, um, unknowing to them at the time has already been turned by Dracula. Uh, uh, he did, Dracula did it as, as a cruel sense of, of humor. Uh, as, Hark, as, John, as Harker had killed his consort, he decided that he was going to go ahead and make another consort and kill uh, Harker's sister, Lucy, uh, turn and turn into a vampire. Uh, Van Helsing comes and he makes an effort to try to save her, but she's too far gone and she does die and she turns. Uh, and so, um, they managed to stop, stop Lucy, 
and they got they had to find uh, they, have to, they have to find Dracula's coffin uh, as staking or sunlight or garlic or cross it's the only way to stop uh, only way to stop Dracula so that's a near thing that's a very near thing um, especially since Dracula is so uh, he's so cunning and uh he manages to penetrate uh both van helsing and harker um they're on the outside uh you know to protecting uh protecting uh, um harker's wife and uh and lo and behold uh well dracula gets in uh he he manages to to he manages to penetrate the uh the house and he also uh, basically seduces uh the wife uh mina and uh but but luckily for 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 her and for her husband uh, arthur uh uh homewood uh um, they managed uh, they have hell van helsing on their side and he is able to help stop uh dracula including a final fight uh, which uh, uh van helsing manages to kill Dr dracula that incarnation all right yeah, I did throw a little spoilers out there for you, but this movie's 1958, so, if, you know, what can I say? I mean, it's 58. Um, uh, so, my thoughts about this film were, um, it's really strong, it's really a good movie, and um, you can definitely see where, you know, where I had already watched uh, Vampire Lovers, you could already see how Hammer's film had advanced, um, the, the you know the the storylines and and the acting, uh, Dracula was basically known for the first British film to like before you know it always showed Dracula as to be feared, whereas we see with both Lucy and Mina, that's not the case. They they want him to come visit him because uh, 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 of the sexual contact, and it was the first for a British film to show that. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, you, if you look at their faces, yeah, they're not scared at all. <laughs> um, and so, um, it was interesting. It's an interesting aspect to see how it's played because up to that time, you know, Dracula was being feared and, and loathed and, and, you know, and you have to invite him in. That's the important thing too, is Dracula, all, you know, how did he get into the house? Well, he was invited. Um, uh, you know, when you see, uh, Lucy open up all the windows. She's inviting him. That's how a vampire gets inside of a house. Uh, and um, so it's, it was very, uh, very traditional in that sense. Um, the, the script is strong. The movie is very, it's actually very fast. It's very quickly paced at, at 82 minutes, uh, 82 minutes. And it's really, it looks great. It's, it's a color film, which is rare at the time still. And it looks, it absolutely looks great. It looks fantastic. A lot of different colors uh, into the palette. Uh, set designer was great. Production values are stellar. Um, even a copious amount of blood for that time. Uh, they didn't shy away from throwing from uh, 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 showing blood, including a transfusion, which was pretty interesting to see. Um, smartly written uh, by Jimmy Sangster. Um, this is absolutely a, a, a joy to watch, and this is my second Hammer film. Now, a lot of people think that Hammer film started in the 50s. Hammer film started in 1934. It's still active, but the, the studio itself started in 1934. It didn't get into horror until the 50s, and then it went very, it did very well from the 50s all the way up to the, to the mid-70s. Uh, Hammer then sort of like, sort of petered out, and then it was dormant and different companies came in there and tried to buy the name in order to relaunch hammer 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 films and it wasn't until you know 2008 2007 that they actually found uh, a company willing to put uh, a few films out and there has been a few a few hammer films out in the in the 2010s um so they are trying to launch it uh, none of the movies have come out with any success uh, as as the Hammer classic films, but they're still but they still keep trying. Um, Warner Brothers actually distributed this film out here in in the United States, which is why it's called Horror of Dracula. This in England, this was called just Dracula, but over here they had to put Horror of Dracula on because there was already a Dracula and Universal had the rights to it, so they couldn't rename it just Dracula because of that. 
uh yeah i highly recommend this uh, uh special features or a trailer um unfortunately no no commentary or anything else this is an older copy as you can see uh it's a snapper case uh i actually got this for free i was gifted this one this is not for a library copy uh, so uh, our good friend josh hobbs sent this to me so i got this for free so it's dollar theater anything under anything under a dollar 25 right so uh so I want to, uh, shout out to hobbs for, for sending me this uh sending me this absolutely enjoyed it and uh glad to talk about it all right well we're gonna come up with another five films for you guys i got something i got cooking um but if you like this drop a comment down below hit the like button and uh share us out if you want to uh and then we'll see you for the next round of voting for dollar uh, Dollar Theater, the Voters Edition, where you pick the movies that we watch. All right, thanks so much, and we'll see you soon. Peace.